inspector general says improvements have been made to the NOPD's property and evidence room, but more work is needed. For years, the I-team has outlined problems at the Central City facility. Investigative reporter Travis Mackle is live here at 6 with what the OIG's report says. Travis? Well, Scott, the report says improvements have been made, but that the facility is still at risk of thefts and other problems. The inspector general says an inventory of what's inside this building is not being properly done, and evidence some years old is not being disposed of. Just some of the findings of a new report released today, and it echoes what the I team has pointed out for years. In 2008, we first reported on allegations that thousands of dollars were missing from the police property room. Those claims proved true, and we first showed you pictures from an internal report from inside the Central City facility. Rusty guns were stored in garbage cans and bins, bags filled with narcotics were tossed into corners, and blood and DNA samples stored in a common refrigerator. An audit detailed problem after problem with the storage room. Warren Riley was superintendent at that time. If someone stole some money, there will be severe consequences. Hopefully, hopefully this money is discovered. Less than a year later, the state's legislative auditor found that hundreds of thousands of dollars was missing and drugs and guns confiscated from criminal suspects could not be accounted for. Years of investigating by two police administrations has turned up very little in the way of suspects. No one has been arrested or charged with any crime dealing with stolen money, guns, or drugs. The OIG did say in his report that was released today that money is now deposited into an interest-bearing account and that DNA is properly stored in a climate-controlled area. All improvements have been made in recent years. Camille? All right.